Okay, in this episode, we are going to find the Solanium. But while we're here on this planet, I'm going to try and gather some phosphorus as well. Okay, this is directing me to the... Oh, that's right there. Might as well go get it. Actually, I need phosphorus um, to refill my shield as well on here. Okay, we got the hazmat gauntlets in the previous episode. You cannot get the selenium plants, the solar vine, you cannot harvest the selenium off the solar vine without the hazmat gauntlet. So, and we didn't have an equipment slot, an extra one for it. So first we got a new equipment slot and then we built the hazmat gauntlets and now we're harvesting the selenium. That's copper. We should probably get more copper as well. Oh, there's phosphorus. Um, where's the phosphorus? Oh, I'm standing on it. Well, that's wonderful. I guess that worked out. Let's explore a little bit. Okay, we could always use more equipment spots. And I don't have to do a mission to get it either. Thanks to the signal booster. Take it down here. No, I better take it up here. Now, usually there are three knowledge stones. Apparently it switched the quest again. Back down to expanding the base. Because that's what I want to work on. Okay. Corvax. Tiny floating tetrahedrons emerge from the planet's surface and surround me. I try to wave them away with my multi-tool, but each time they swarm closer to it, as if attracted to it somehow. I raise my multi-tool, and they shimmer blue as they dart this way and that. Closer and closer, they are within touching distance of my multi-tool. They make one final surge. Now, um, with these people, the Corvax, they like to research stuff. So the tetrahedrons consider them as studying you and let the te tetrahedrons in and they'll be happy. The other option here, escape the tetrahedron, will probably upset uh, the monolith. So let the te tetrahedrons in. My multi-tool grows bright blue. 
the color spreads, seeping up my arm. With a sudden surge, the electric glow reaches my brain. I pass out. I awake. Reality is restored. I find myself in possession of a new piece of multi-tool technology. Pulse splitter. Uh, that pulse splitter is pretty good. Once you answer the question or take the correct action, you still have access to the monolith. It will give you the directions to a portal. You have to give a Corvax casing to get to the portal. Uh, since I have a base in this solar system, I'm going to go locate the portal and I'm going to place a signal, uh, a beacon, a safe beacon by the portal so I can find it again to travel to other places. So I'll do locate portal. Let's head to the portal. So you have to put, um, you have to charge them with carbon, sodium, dihydrogen, copper, carbon. Uh, so it repeats going around those substances. All right, let's place the signal beacon, say beacon. Um, what color should we use for this? How about black? Ground protection falling. You see the star above it is black. Dark black. It is good to see you, friend. I trust the Viking's technology kept you safe. I have the selenium required to finish the plans for the farmer's workstation. It will be interesting to see what effect a second Gek 
will have on my overseer. I cannot imagine they have spent much time conversing with the scientist or the armor. Give Solani. Ah, to farm, we shall exploit the earth, free at last from the sentinels, and practice the glory of trade. Okay, agricultural terminal, chromatic metal, and condensed carbon. In order to get the farmer, we must first have the terminal. Once you have secured our farmer, you will want to trade unhindered to profit from our glorious harvest without being dragged to and fro. Never fear, friend, for I shall make it so. All I require are a few circuit boards to finish the plans for a trade terminal of our own. The overseer requests circuit boards in order to create a galactic trade terminal blueprint. The Corvax scientists should be able to provide the necessary parts. Except, I do not have the zeal for trade that seems to seize the GEC. Nevertheless, it would be convenient to tap into the galactic market from right here in my home. Let's put the um, agricultural terminal here. Agricultural research hire a base farmer. Okay, there we go. Now let's go and look at the space station. Uh, before we do that, well, Let's see, the base farmer is Gag. So if it doesn't tell us where to go, um, most likely we'll need a Gag system. Let's try the Gag system. Friend, you have worked for me, yes? I have served in the finest kitchens and gardens across 12 systems, in each one producing prize-winning cuisine. I grow all my own ingredients. Hire me, yes? The Gek chirps happily at the sight of me. They promise to help me grow all kinds of crops on my world. The required paperwork has already been signed, apparently. The farmer offers to join my world and make use of my agricultural terminal. I accept. Thank you, friend. Neither you nor your stomach shall regret it.
This is a home of glass and metal, traveler. It is in dire need of my touch, but no need to fear, for I come well equipped for such work. He gave me the directions for the gut rot flower, the large hydroponic tray, and the hydroponic tray. Your first lesson will teach you to embrace the dirt, friend. The earth provides life in death after all. Take this hydroponics tray and these gut rot flowers, flower seeds. Grow the flower and see how fine it feels to produce life. Hireling Yin Leo is already bedding in nicely. They have already given me the means to beautify my home. If I prove myself a worthy farmer with this gut rot flower, Perhaps they will share more of their agricultural secrets, except. Wonderful, my friend. Soon our home will be filled with the delicate perfume for which this plant was named. All right, in the next episode, I will, um, Well, before the episode, I will probably extend this base a little bit and make room uh, for the plants and maybe add some more solar panels for power and uh, probably a refiner in order to make a deuterum because it looks like in order to make the um, pulse splitter, I need to make deuterum, and deuterum looks like it's a combination of two substances. Um, we'll all, so we'll continue with the agricultural path um, in the next episode. Thank you.